Hello everyone and welcome back to another GTA Online guide where today we're going to be taking a look at the three delivery vehicles added as part of the After Hours DLC in GTA Online again, so let's get right to it shall we? So why look at these three vehicles again you may be asking? We've already established that they're not the best of vehicles to use in PvP online, what with their lack of armour and mediocre weapons. Well the thing is, these vehicles, although you're able to use them in free mode to do what you want with them, which is nice, they're designed to be used on delivery runs from your nightclub business. That's their main function and in this video I'm going to be comparing the three delivery run vehicles with delivery runs in mind. Before we begin it's important to know that the lack of armour on these vehicles isn't exactly true when you actually do a delivery run. You can see here that when someone is doing a delivery run the vehicle's armour is actually quadruple from normal meaning that it can take four rockets before exploding. With that in mind, let's now take a look at the performance of all of these vehicles with deliveries in mind. And in this video we're going to be testing their raw acceleration and speed, their racing pedigree for when you need to drive fast in these things, and finally, their defensive weapons for when people start attacking you. So let's begin by having the three of them do a drag run, shall we? Well, that's interesting. Despite being the smaller vehicle than the Pounder, the Mule was actually pretty darn slow in comparison to the others. The Speedo was very much expected to win out of the three, but to see the Pounder beating the Mule? It's definitely interesting. Next up, let's run the three vehicles through a little obstacle racing course that I think will test all manner of situations that drivers of these three vehicles may have to face during a delivery run. We have a long straight segment in which the driver will have to hope to hell that they don't get blown up by a strike force jet, some tight turns and some narrow corridors for when you're in the suburbs of town, some twists and turns which will test to see how the vehicles handle under pressure, some gates that the vehicles will have to run into and knock down to see how much mass the vehicles have and how effective they are at ramming junk out of the way, and finally a swing around to the finish line. The conditions of this race are a bit wet, but nonetheless it should give a good showcase as to how well these vehicles handle in this tough racing course. Starting with the speedo. The speedo's fast acceleration and top speed are definitely giving it the edge in this straight segment. Coming into the corner we can see that the speedo can very easily take a corner at high speed. Coming into the narrow section, the speedo has no problem navigating this tight section. Here comes the chicane and again no problem for the speedo. Coming up to the gates and ooh the speedo is being slowed down quite considerably by the gates. And the final corner, and finish! Alright, now it's the mule's turn. Okay, it's made it to the first corner and it handles pretty well. Coming up to the narrow section and, ooh, a bump from the mule. It just can't quite make those tight corners at high speed. Coming up to the chicane. Handles it okay. The barriers are slowing it down a little bit, but nothing too bad. Coming around the final corner and finish. Now it's time for the pounder to have a pound at the course. First corner, manages to drift it out, coming up to the tight section and it manages to hold it. 
Now the chicane. Yes, it manages to hold it well. Let's see if the large size of the pounder can decimate those gates. Surprisingly not, just like the other delivery vehicles, the pounder also suffers quite the knockback from the gates. Around the corner and across the line. So if we give the mule the benefit of the doubt and say that the weather gave it a disadvantage, we can see that the speedo clearly has the edge in terms of performance and racing pedigree, with the mule and the pounder coming behind with a similar lap time. But before we jump to conclusions yet, let's take a look at their defensive capabilities. Now we all know that there's going to be that one guy with the deluxe just waiting to pounce the moment you start your delivery run. Let's say you had to defend yourself from a deluxe during a delivery run. What options would you have with the three vehicles? Well, with the mule, you are pretty much screwed, because the mule lacks any sort of defensive capabilities outside of the grenade launcher and the front-mounted weapons, whichever one you choose, and although the machine gun and the rocket launcher are good at taking out vehicles that are directly in front of you, you can't really do much against a deluxo that's just hovering around in the air shooting at you. I mean, you have the grenade launcher, but that's pretty much it. With the speedo, however, you have a mounted machine gun which can reach most areas around you so long as the deluxo isn't too close to you or too high altitude for you to hit them. I did some tests to see what the vehicle is capable of when using the 50 cal mounted machine gun versus the minigun, and the minigun seems to be able to take out the oppressor much faster. What I like about the machine gun is just how accurate you can be so long as the target remains in the aiming area. You can take them out pretty quickly so long as your aim is on point. There's good news with the Pounder Custom too, because it has that big sand turret on the top. Although it's not as effective and accurate as the machine gun on the Speedo, if you do manage to land a single hit with this thing, you will take them out in just one shot. So if you practice with the fast firing cannon like weapon of the Pounder Custom, you should be able to get rid of most targets that are attacking you. Of course, all three vehicles have access to vehicle mine, so if someone is foolish enough to drive directly behind you, then you can give them the old toot of the horn and blow them away. So all in all, if it comes down to you wanting to unload some cargo, I would either recommend you deliver small loads or large loads to avoid having to use the mule, as its defensive capabilities aren't very good. Just stick to using the Speedo or the Pounder Custom. Though if you want to be extra safe, create a lagged solo session and then just use the Speedo Custom to deliver small loads and you shouldn't run into any problems as, say, a full to the brim server in a mule. I could pretty much guarantee you'll be sweating like hell during such a run. But in any case, let me know what you guys think, let me know in the comments, and if you found this video useful, entertaining, or whatever, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the Pyron Gaming channel for loads more videos coming to you very soon. See you around, folks.